Hi, my name is Greg Vale. I'm here in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and today I'd like to talk to you about Russian bees and Apamay beehives. First, I'd like to talk a little bit about the Russian bees. Uh, the Russian bees have uh, they come from the Primorsky region. It's very cold there, and since this is Cedar Rapids, Iowa, that's very important to me. Uh, the other thing about the Russian bees is that they've been dealing with veromites for the last 150 years in nature on their own. So they're a very clean bee, very clean at getting rid of other pests, very clean at getting rid of diseases. I've had my bees now for a few years. I've never treated them for anything. I have yet to see a vero mite. They, uh, they barely ever, if ever, get nicemia. Um, if you'd like, research Russian bees some more and, uh, and decide if maybe they're right for you. The other thing that I'd like to talk to people about is the Apame beehive. Um, most people are using a wooden Langstroth hive. It's made out of uh, one inch pine. They uh, have an R factor of about R, R1. My beehive is insulated, has an R factor of R6. Um, the other thing that I find very important about these is the front entrance. A lot of beehives have a very large front entrance. If you look at the entrance on the Apame beehive, the entrance holes over here are very, very, very small. They just allow bees to come in. They've got some sliding doors so that you can reduce the number of holes that they can get in and get out. Um, these holes make it very difficult for any kind of pest to get in. Some people have mice in their hives. They get wax moths in their hives. These holes make it difficult for even a wax moth to get in. On top of the fact that they make it very easy for the bees to protect their entrance. <clears throat> the other thing I'd like to talk about a little bit when it comes to the Apame beehives is the screened bottom board with the bottom tray. Um, they were originally created because of the wax moss, and the idea was that when the wax moth comes into the hive, it would go down into the bottom tray rather than up into the hive to lay its eggs. And then when it laid its eggs down there, they would be stuck there, wouldn't be able to come up into the hive. This bottom board, pretty much like a lot of others, it comes got a little tray in here for a catch. You can put a pollen trap in here if you like. It will knock the pollen off of the bee's legs so that it lands down in this tray and you can keep it. I keep the plug in. I don't use that. I, I think my bees need their pollen. As you can see, a little bit falls off anyway. <clears throat> the nice thing about these bottom boards is that you can look at the tracking along the edge of the bottom board and get an idea of what's going on where in your hive. So if you have a problem in a specific location, it gives you a really good idea as to where to go look into your hive to see where that problem might be and correct it. <clears throat> the other thing I would like to show you about the Apple Hive is that it has a built-in feeder on the top. Now this is a top feeder, comes with the hive already. My other hive has a single feeder that takes up the whole tray, just has one lid. This one has two. Right now it's set up for syrup. And so I put the syrup in and it's got a little slot over here on an edge. They got a stair inside, they go down and it allows the bees then to get the syrup without coming into the area and drowning in the syrup. In the winter time, we turn this around and it leaves a little edge here. And that little edge then allows the bees to come walking into this area and in the winter time we put hard candy in here and the bees can walk around and get to the hard candy. Hard candy won't freeze and obviously you know the bees won't drown in it either and that's why we use that in the winter time in case they run out or need any kind of supplemental sugar to keep them warm in the winter. Um, if you live in Iowa or any kind of cold region, I would encourage you to look into getting an Apay Bay Beehive. They cost just a little bit more but they have some great features. Um, the other thing I would encourage people into looking into really are the Russian bees. Compared to a lot of other bees, they, uh, they carry some traits that will make your beekeeping so much easier and make you so much happier as a beekeeper. My name is Greg Vale. I'm here in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Thank you. Have a nice day.